It's always something special when one former champion returns to the bodybuilding stage. Some champions return and show why they had been crowned the best in the first place, while others fall short of glory. Let's take a look at the greatest Olympia comebacks ever. Number 7. Arnold Schwarzenegger, 1980 Since emerging on the bodybuilding scene in the late 1960s, Arnold Schwarzenegger has become one of the most influential and inspiring athletes in bodybuilding. What bodybuilder or even general fitness enthusiast doesn't know of Schwarzenegger? Even if you've never picked up a weight, you probably know of the Austrian native as a bodybuilder, movie star, politician, or environmental activist. He's so popular that you can refer to him as just Arnold and most people know who you're talking about. Since retiring in 1980, Arnold has cast a long shadow and is still revered for his importance in helping to popularize bodybuilding among the masses. From 1970 to 1975, Arnold won six Mr. Olympia titles. After the sixth win, he retired to focus on his then burgeoning movie career, which includes hits like Conan the Barbarian, Twins, and the Terminator series. He moved to greener pastures, or so it seemed. In 1980, Arnold shocked fans and competitors alike when he announced, the day before the Mr. Olympia contest, that he was making a comeback. The reactions were mixed. Competitor Mike Menser was furious and even tried to attack Arnold at a pre-contest press conference. Other athletes like Frank Zane and Boyer Co. expressed pity that Arnold was going to return, lose, and tarnish his legacy. On the night of the show, many were shocked at Arnold's conditioning. The Austrian Oak failed to compare to a new generation of stars. However, when Arnold was announced as the winner, the audience booed, competitors stepped off stage, and some retired from the sport in disgust. Number 6. Franco Colombo, 1981 the Sardinian Samson won the 1976 Mr. Olympia Soiree and later that year entered the World's Strongest Man contest, where he suffered a horrendous injury to his left leg, which seemingly ended his sporting career. However, in 1981, he entered the Olympia and won in circumstances even more controversial than the previous year's Mr. O. Most pundits had him fourth at best, with gyno clearly visible and a left leg that had not been returned muscularity-wise two days of yore. Most saw the contest between Chris Dickerson, Danny Padilla, and Tom Platts, but Colombo surprised us all. Number 5. Lou Ferrigno, 1992 As a child, Louis Jude Ferrigno lived a life of seclusion due to severe hearing loss resulting from an ear infection diagnosed at age 3, experienced extreme shyness and difficulty forming friendships, and constantly fantasized about adding weight to his unhealthy skinny physique to become muscular and powerful, just like the comic book heroes he wished to emulate. Today, he is recognized worldwide as one of the two biggest superstars in the history of bodybuilding and fitness, as a man who has redefined the word superhero and served as inspiration to his legions of fans. A lifelong admirer of the muscular physique and one of the bodybuilding's strongest, most passionate advocates and devotees, Lou Ferrigno has made his mark in more ways than one on a sport that has given him so much since he picked up his first barbell at age 12. First of all, there is his bodybuilding career the only man to have won the IFBB Mr. Universe twice consecutively in 1973 and 74, and at 6 feet 5 inches and 21 years old, the tallest and youngest man ever to do so. At 23, he was one of the youngest men to enter the Mr. Olympia contest. The 1975 Pretoria, South Africa affair, famously documented on the 1977 landmark production and cult bodybuilding movie Pumping Iron. After placing third to his boyhood idol and the most famous bodybuilder of all time, Arnold Schwarzenegger, at the 74 Olympia, Lou parlayed the massive look he had attained, he was at the time the most muscular man in the world at 285 pounds cut, into a Hollywood career and instantly became the most recognizable bodybuilder in the world, as fittingly, one of the comic book heroes he had dreamed of becoming as a youth, the Incredible Hulk. Fast forward to 1992, age 41, he entered the Mr. Olympia and despite much hoopla, his 6'5", 300-pound package was adjudged 12th, though one judge marked him first. He returned to take the 10th spot a year later before bowing out of competition with a silver at the 1994 Masters Olympia. Number 4. Juliet Bergman, 2001 Holland's Juliet Bergman was an outstanding competitor during the 1980s. She competed in four Miss Olympia contests, her highest placing being 6th in 1986. The possessor of outstanding symmetry, she retired after the 1989 season before making a sensational Olympia return at 42 years old in 2001. At that contest, she won the lightweight division before beating heavyweight winner Iris Kyle in a pose down for the overall title. She again took top honors in the lightweight division in 2002 and 2003, but lost the overall to heavyweight winner Linda Murray. Number 3. Linda Murray, 2002 in every sport, there are athletes who reach the pinnacle and achieve things that they never thought they could have accomplished. For female bodybuilding, few people have had the opportunity to do that. 
However, Linda Murray managed to get most out of all of her opportunities, which led her to a staggering eight Miss Olympia titles. At the age of 22, Linda Murray got a membership to the powerhouse gym in Michigan with the intent to tone her physique for cheerleading. However, she quickly discovered that her true passion was in something else. Under the advice of one of her friends, she began weight training with the goal in mind to try her hand at bodybuilding. Murray's first amateur show was the 1985 Michigan State Championships, where she would land in the fourth place position. This would inspire her to find a real love for the sport and begin to really devote herself to training. She would take a few years to develop her frame and find her groove, having mixed performances in 1986 and 1987. Beginning in 88, the skills of Linda Murray began to really shine through, winning her second event to that point. This led her to feeling confident enough to go for her pro card in 1989, securing it by winning the Junior Nationals. Shortly after, she would make her pro debut at the 89 North American Championships, making a splash with her first place win. After making her pro debut and five years into her bodybuilding career, Linda Murray entered her first Miss Olympia contest in 1990. This would be a huge step up for her, and it was her biggest showcase to date. However, she would perform with flying colors, winning the title that Corey Everson had left behind. Fast forward, having won six successive Miss Olympia titles, 1990-95, to 95, Linda Murray then finished runner-up to Kim Chizewski in 1996 and 97. She returned in 2002 to win the heavyweight and overall Miss Olympia titles, a feat she repeated in 2003. She bowed out in 2004 after taking the heavyweight runner-up spot behind Iris Kyle, who won the overall. Number 2. Iris Kyle, 2006 Having won the overall at the 2004 Miss Olympia, Iris Kyle promptly finished second to Yazini Oriken a year later. She reclaimed the title in 2006 as a precursor to run a nine successive stories before calling it a day with her 2014 win. Her accumulation of 10 Olympia wins stands as a record in any division. As great as Iris Kyle was on stage, it was her ability to get along with people where she sometimes fell short. When a lot of people, especially those of importance, don't like you very much or you have the reputation for being difficult, it can create roadblocks for you and affect how you're perceived, appreciated, and rewarded. Nonetheless, Iris became such a great bodybuilder that it became impossible to deny her victory on the competition stage. Iris did make improvements in one area that eventually helped make a difference. Early on, her stage presentation was, let's say, unadorned. Without much makeup, under the harsh stage lighting, she looked harder and less attractive than might otherwise have been the case. We noticed over time Iris was spending a lot of time with Diana Cadeau, a lightweight Miss Olympia, who always looked attractive on stage. At one point, it seemed clear that Iris had learned about makeup from Diana, and her overall look and presentation on stage vastly improved. This helped the judges give her the placings she deserved. Number 1. Jay Cutler, 2009 After finally wrestling the Olympia crown from Ronnie Coleman in 2006, Jay Cutler squeaked out a close victory over Victor Martinez in 2007. In 2008, he relinquished the title to Dexter Jackson, and the consensus was the Olympia glory days of the Boston Mass were over. But in perhaps the greatest Olympia comeback ever, he reinvented his physique in 2009 and was ripped and full beyond anything he had previously presented. As soon as he walked out and, in an iconic moment, flicked the cross striations on his thighs, the title was all but his. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.